Sutra. Seeing occurs because the two appearances of darkness and light and that light firmly adhere to created in what originally was wonderful perfection. The essence of seeing reflects form and combines with form to become an organ. In its pure state, the organ of the eye is the four elements, and yet it takes the name eye organ and is shaped like a grape of the superficial sense organs and the four defiling objects is one raises out after form. Commentary seeing occurs because the two appearances of darkness and light, these two kinds of form and their like, including all other kinds of visible forms, influence one another. They firmly adhere to creative in what originally was wonderful perfection. These forms stick to the tranquil nature. When this situation arises, the essence of seeing comes into being. The essence of seeing reflects form and combines with form to become an organ. Combines here equals adhere to above. The essence of seeing and forms adhere to each other and turn into an organ. In its pure state, the organ of the eye is the four elements. What is meant by its pure state? It means that the four elements are elements are here very subtle, not something which the flesh eye can see. One needs the Buddha eye, the Dharma eye, and the wisdom eye to be able to see them. The form elements still refer to earth, water, fire, and wind, and yet it takes the name eye organ and is shaped like a grape. And yet, because the elements are related in this way, the substance is an eye shaped like a grape. Uh, there are superficial sense organs and for defiling objects, the eye is distinguished in three ways. It has a thin essence, it is a superior organ, it is a superficial divided organ. If you cultivate successfully, the eye is called a superior organ. If you do not cultivate, it is called a superficial divided organ. The four defining objects referred to here are form, sound, smells, and taste. This one raises out after form. The Chinese word for raises, Liu Yi, combines the character Liu, which means a flowing, like a swift river returning to the deep, or like the undertow of waves on the ocean, and the character Yi, which means unrestrained, like a fire raging out of control in the mountains, spreading in all directions at once. Together they mean to raise like a, a thoroughbred horse. It is the way one raises out to become attached to forms. Sutra hearing occurs because the two uh, reverberations of movement and stillness and their like firmly adhere to created in what originally was wonderful perfection, the essence of hearing reflects sound and resounds with sound to become the organ of the ear. In its pure state, the organ of the ear is the four elements. It takes the name ear organ and is shaped like a fresh curled leaf. Of the superficial sense organs and the four defiling objects, this one is loosed upon sound. Commentary. Hearing occurs because the two reverberations of movement and stillness and their like firmly adhere to creative in what originally was wonderful perfection. Because there is movement and stillness and a function is created in their midst when this function occurs in the perfect creative. The process of hearing comes into being. The essence of hearing reflects sound and resounds with sound to become the organ of the ear. It unites with the defining object of sound. It becomes an organ in the same way the eye becomes one as described above. In its pure state, the organ of the ear is the four elements. It is a certain process which results from the combination of the four elements. It takes the name ear organ and is shaped like a fresh curled leaf. It is shaped like a fresh lotus flower leaf which has not yet uncurled. 
of the superficial sense organs and the four defining objects is one is loosed upon sound. Discussing the sense organs in terms of their being superficial and defined, this organ raises out and unites with sound. Sutra smelling occurs because the two appearances of penetration and obstruction and their like firmly adhere to connected in what originally was wonderful perfection. The essence of smelling, reflex sense, and takes in sense to become the organ of the nose in its pure state. The organ of the nose is the four elements. It takes the name nose organ and is shaped like a double hanging claw. Of the superficial sense organs and the four defining objects, this one probes out after sense. Commentary smelling occurs because the two appearances of penetration and obstruction and their like firmly adhere to created in what originally was wonderful perfection. With the existence of the two substantive appearances of penetration and obstruction, a function occurs in the wonderful perfection of the mind. The appearances adhere to produce smelling. The essence of smelling, reflex sense, and text in sense to become the organ of the nose. The essence of smelling and the defining objects of sense mirror one another, and the process of smelling of taking in the sense, taking in the sense becomes the function of this organ. In its pure state, the organ of the nose is the four elements. But it is given a name nose organ and is shaped like a double hanging claw. The nose looks like two inverted claws of the superficial sense organs, seeing, hearing, awareness, and knowing, and the four defining objects, forms, sounds, scents, and flavors, this one groups out after sense. This one gets involved with the defining objects of sense, the nose smells, and is greedy for sense. Sutra testing occurs because the two blends of blandness and variety in their like firmly adhere to created in what originally was wonderful perfection. The essence of tasting reflects flavors and becomes entwined with flavors to become the organ of the tongue. In its pure state, the organ of the tongue is the four elements. It takes the name tongue organ and is shaped like the crescent moon. Of the superficial sense organs and the four defining objects, this one pursues flavors. Commentary testing occurs because the two blends of blandness and variety in their like firmly adhere to created in what originally was wonderful perfection. Blandness refers to the ordinary tastelessness we experience. And from this normal state of blandness, one can perceive the flavor of something when one encounters it. Because of the involvement of blandness and the change to perfection, to perception of a flavor and their blending together, there is an adherence to the creativity of the wonderful perfect mind. The function is the awareness of taste. The essence of tasting reflects flavors and becomes a entwined with flavors to become the organ of the tongue. The sense of taste becomes twisted together with flavors just as the strands of a rope are bound together. They become inseparable and thus another organ comes into being. In its pure state, the organ of the tongue is the four elements. It takes the name tongue organ and is shaped like the crescent moon. Of the superficial sense organs and the four defining objects, this one pursues flavors. It is attracted to flavors. Sutra sensation occurs because the two frictions of separation and union, and their like firmly adhere to created in what originally was a wonderful perfection. The essence of sensation reflects contact and senses upon contact to become the organ of the body. In its pure state, the organ of the body is the four elements. It takes the name body organ and is shaped like a double of the superficial sense organs and the four defining objects. This one is compelled by contact. 
commentary sensation occurs because the two fictions of separation and union and they are like firmly adhere to creative in what originally was a wonderful perfection the rubbing back and forth of separation and union creates an awareness in the wonderful perfection the essence of sensation reflects contact and senses upon contact to become the organ of the body the awareness unites with the contact to make the organ of the body in its pure state the organ of the body is the four elements it takes the name body organ and is shaped like a, a dark blah the body is likened in a shape to that particular kind of drum of the superficial sense organs and the four defining objects this one is compelled by contact this superficial sense organ gravitates to the defining object of contact sutra knowing occurs because the two continuities of production and extinction and their like firmly adhere to created in what originally was wonderful perfection the essence of knowing reflects dramas and grasps dramas to become the organ of the mind in its pure state or the organ of the mind is the four elements it takes the name mental cognition and resembles seeing in a dark room of the superficial sense organs and their four defining objects is one traces after dramas commentary knowing occurs because the two continuities of production and extinction in their like here the text discusses the organ of the mind the sixth the mind consciousness which is subject to production and extinction as the former thought ceases the next thought arises the one raises after the other and they firmly adhere to creative in what originally was wonderful perfection they stick to the creative and create the essence of knowing the essence of knowing reflects dramas and grasps dramas to become the organ of the mind the capacity of knowing senses upon dharmas which are defiling objects in its pure state the organ of the mind is the four elements it has a name mental cognition rather than mental substan- a substance because the mind is not a substantive thing and resembles seeing in a dark room since the mind organ is an internal organ whereas the five previous sense organs are external organs it is likened to seeing in a dark room of the superficial sense organs and therefore the defining objects is one traces after dramas the mind then gravitates to the defining objects of dramas sutra ananda in this way the six organs occur because that bright enlightenment has a brightness attitude thus they lose their essence and adhere to falseness and create light commentary ananda in this way the six organs the eyes ears nose tongue body and mind discussed above occur because that right enlightenment that refers to the wonderful perfection of the true mind the treasury of the third come one originally the six organs are the treasury of the third come one but they come into being because the treasury of the third come one has a brightness attitude basically the f- fundamental substance of enlightenment is brightness itself there is no need to add brightness to it it is like the wish fulfilling pole the light of which is inherent in it there is no need to add light to it when light is added to enlightenment it creates a false brightness a false enlightenment the brightness is not ultimately real nor is the enlightenment that results from the, the addition of brightness thus it lose their essence and adhere to falseness and create light their original essence the essence of seeing the essence of hearing the essence of smelling of tasting and of touch of touching and the knowledge of dharmas loses its original characteristic and capability and thereby it becomes mixed up with false brightness and false enlightenment from this mutual attention uh, a false light comes forth this light is not really a light it simply designates their individual functions 
sutra they fall apart from darkness and light there is no substance to sing for you now apart from movement and stillness there basically is no disposition of hearing without penetration and obstruction the nature of smelling does not arise in the absence of variety and blandness testing does not occur lacking separation and union the sensation of contact is fundamentally non-existent without extinction and production knowing is put to rest commentary therefore because of the doctrine explained above which is that one need not add brightness to enlightenment it is only through the arisal of a false thought of adding brightness to enlightenment that in turns into false brightness and false enlightenment as a result the original essence is lost and by an adhesion addition to falseness the lighter of the category of seeing comes into being this creates the separate functions of seeing hearing and the like they are like it belongs to the light of the eighth consciousness therefore apart from darkness and light there is no substance to seeing for you now the reason you can see is because the conditions of light and darkness aid you without darkness and light the substance of seeing would cease to be apart from movement and stillness there basically is no disposition of hearing disposition here also means substance without penetration and obstruction the nature of smelling does not arise without these conditions you have no awareness of sense to wouldn't know if something was fragrant or stinking in the absence of variety and blandness testing does not occur in an interval between experiencing variety and blandness the awareness of testing would be gone lacking separation and union the sensation of contact is fundamentally non-existent if there is no impulse to separate or to unite the awareness of contact disappears without distinction and production no is put to rest if there isn't any production and there isn't any extinction where does your knowing nature abide it is gone as well sutra you need only to follow the 12 conditioned appearances of movement and stillness union and separation blindness and variety penetration and obstruction production and extinction and brightness and darkness commentary you need only not follow this section of the sutra text is very important why haven't people become enlightened because they follow the cause of birth and death they cannot go against this current they follow false defiling objects and are turned around by them they cannot gain control over the false defiling objects thus the sutra says you need only not follow them you need to not accord with the realm of the six defiling objects and to not be turned around by them you don't have to follow conditioned appearances and be turned around by them then you can go against the current don't follow the trail of conditioned appearances of movement and stillness union and separation blindness and variety penetration and obstruction production and extinction and brightness and darkness don't be turned around by these 12 conditioned dramas. Sutra accordingly extract one organ from a teason, free it and subdue it at its inner core. Once subdued, it will return to inherent truth and radiate its innate brilliance. When that brilliance shines forth, the remaining five artisans will be freed to accomplish total liberation. Commentary accordingly extract one organ from adhesion freed of the six sense organs of the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind. You should accordingly liberate one freeing it from the circumstance of its adhesion and subdue it at its inner core. Overcome the ignorance in yourself. Subdue this false thought. Once subdued, it will return to inherent truth. With a false thought and ignorance subdued, 
you will return to the thoughts to the wonderful perfection the creative of the true mind and it will radiate its innate brilliance then the inherent brightness of enlightenment will reveal itself when that brilliance shines forth when the brilliant essence reveals this brightness the remaining five occasions will be freed to accomplish total liberation when one sense organ is freed the others which are stuck will be pulled loose and liberated as well they will simultaneously obtain liberation and the function of adhering to create seeing adhering to create sensation will cease you will be free Sutra, do not follow the knowing and seeing that arise in response to the objects before you. True brightness does not comply with the sense organs, yet lost of the organs is the revelation of the brightness that permits the mutual functioning of the six organs. Commentary, I have discussed the mutual functioning of the six organs before. Do not follow the knowing and seeing that arise in response to the objects before you. This is the advice that the Buddha gave above. You need only not follow. Don't follow the six defiling objects that pair themselves with your seeing, knowing and their like. If you don't follow along, you will see as if not seeing and hear as if not hearing because you are not obsessed by the realm of the six defiling objects, true brightness does not comply with the sense organs. It does not make an encounter with a defiling object and thus bring brightness into existence. Awareness doesn't exist in that way. Your enlightened brightness does not follow the organs and face out. And yet, lost at the organs is the revelation of the brightness that permits the mutual functioning of the six organs. Our inherent enlightened brightness is nevertheless found at the gate of the six organs. When that inherent brightness reveals itself, it permits the mutual functioning of the six organs. This doesn't happen if you use false brightness and false enlightenment. It only happens when you use the true brightness and true enlightenment. And then the six organs, the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind function in mutual accord. They can be used interchangeably. The eyes can speak and the ears can see. So they the Buddha is a happy day. Now, of course, the Buddha is happy every day, but today he is happiest. Why? This is the last day of the summer retreat for people who have left the whole life from the 15th of the 4th lunar month to so the 15th of the 7th lunar month left home people do not travel. Today is also the anniversary of the day Mahamaudgadiyana obtained the spiritual penetration of the heavenly eye. Upon obtaining it, the first thing he did was to look where his mother was. He saw she was in the house undergoing suffering. How did his mother get into the house? When she was alive, she did not believe in the Buddha, didn't bow to the Buddha, she didn't believe in the Dharma, she didn't study the Buddha Dharma, she did not respect the Sangha, she even slandered members of the Sangha and talked about their transgressions. She also liked to eat meat and fish, she especially liked fish eggs. Just think of how many lives are taken in one helping of caviar because she did not believe in or revere the triple jewel. And because she ate so many fish eggs, she went to the house after she died. In the house, there was nothing to eat. So when Maud Gadiyana obtained his spiritual penetrations, he went to give a bowl of rice to his mother. His mother took the bowl of rice when she saw it and because she was so greedy, she held the bowl in her left hand and covered it with her right sleeve so that none of the other hungry ghosts would see it and try to steal it from her. She hid it under her sleeve and ran to where she could be alone to eat. But her comic obstructions were such that 
She could not have things to eat, and so when she put a bite of food in her mouth, the food turned to burning coals. Although Maud Galliana had been certified to the fusion and had spiritual penetrations, he was unable to help her. Nothing he did worked, so he went to the Buddha and to seek help. What can be done? He pleaded. His mother was in the house, and he asked the Buddha to help him save her. The Buddha told him, "Your mother's karmic offenses are too heavy. You cannot save her by yourself. You must ask the assembled sangha, the ten directions, to save her, and then she can leave suffering and obtain bliss." And so, from that time on, on the fifteenth day of the seventh month in the lunar calendar, offerings are made not only to help your mothers of this life to leave suffering and obtain bliss.